The word percent comes from the Latin term percentum, which means per hundred. Percent is the ratio that compares a number to 100. You can write percent as a fraction with a denominator of 100. The symbol percent is called the percent sign. In general, the notation n percent means n per hundred. The definition led us to the different ways of expressing percent. The notation n percent can be expressed using ratio n percent is equal to the ratio of n to 100 or equal to n is to 100. Fraction notation n percent is equal to n times 1 100 or n 100. Decimal notation n percent or equal to n times 0 and 100 equal to 100. Okay, let us try this example on how to write uh, fractions and decimals to per percents. So, let us try this problem. During the 2018 Open Conference of the Philippines Women Volleyball League or the PWVL, the, uh, the co-ismasters won about 11.20 of their games. The Lady Jet Spikers won about 0 and 524 of their games of their games. Which team had the better record? So to compare the performance of the two teams, it is helpful to write the fraction and decimal as percent. So this time we're going to uh, change fraction 1120 and 0 and 524 thousands into percent write the fraction or decimals as a percent okay so let us try this one fraction to percent so to change fraction to percent just simply write the equivalent fraction of this number 1120 which have the denominator of 100 or just simply multiply them with a fraction equal to 1 which will result as the denominator of 100 okay or simply think of a number that we when you multiply with the denominator it will result to 100 or the same and this number will also be multiplied by the numerator okay let us say for example so this will result to 100 okay so you multiply it with a fraction equal to 1 which will result to 100 so what will be multiplied by 20 to make it 100 so multiply it by okay 5 very good 20 times 5 is 100 you will also multiply 11 or the numerator with this uh, fraction equal to 1 which is 5 beef okay 11 times 5 is equal to uh, 55 or change since 100 is percent so we can say 55 100 as percent okay so the percent of the games won by the co is masters is 55 percent okay let's move to decimal to percent zero uh five hundred twenty four thousand change to percent so there are two methods in changing uh, decimal to percent okay so first method you just multiply uh, 524,000 by 100 okay so multiply so that will result as okay 52.4% uh, or the second method remember in your decimal so multiplying uh, decimal by whole numbers to the power of 10 so you just move the uh, decimal point to the right 
Okay, for example, this one, 0, uh, 2, 4. So, to multiply, uh, mo uh, just move to decimal places to the right. Okay, and it will result to 52.4%. So, the percent of the games won by Lady Spiker is 52.4%. Okay, so now we can compare easily which of the team won more on the games of uh, VWVL. Okay, so we can compare. So the Cold Smashers has more uh, game won than the Lady Jets. A proportion can also be used to express a fraction uh, 2%. Okay, for example, this one, the so changing fraction to percent using proportion. Okay, change 3, 8 to percent using proportion. Okay, so you just equate 3, 8 by N100. Then again, to find the missing term N, you just cross product the last term and the first term and the second term to the third term okay three times 100 is 300 then eight times n is equal to it n so to uh, to find n divide both sides by eight so eight divided by eight is equal to eight n divided by eight is equal to n 300 divided by eight that is Okay, 8 times 3 is equal to 24. So, this is 6. Okay, 50. 8 times, uh, eight times 7 is equal to 56. Then, 56, uh, 60 minus 56 is 4. Uh, 0. 40 this is 5 okay so n is here is equal to 37.5 okay let's come to 3 and 1 half okay 2 percent so this one this time this is not a fraction but is a mixed number so to find the percent of a mixed number just simply change or rename the uh, first uh, mixed number into improper fraction so rename them just multiply 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 that is 7 copy the denominator then equate them into n100 ok third so multiply or cross product so, 7 times n, uh, 7 times 100, or 100 times 7 is 700. This one, 2 times 3 is, uh, 2 times n is equal to 2n. So, to find n, divide both sides by 2. Uh, two 2n divided by 2 is equal to n. Then, 700 divided by 2 is so, 700 divided by 2, that is 3, this is uh, 6, so 10, 5, 10, bring down 0, 0, so, okay, 350, N, or 350%, this is percent. Okay, now let us move to writing percents as fraction and decimals. So, let us try this one, 35% to fraction. So, to change fraction to decimal, use the ratio N100 to express this percent. So, N is equivalent to the percent given. So, to express N is to 100 equal to N is the given percent, which is 35. Then, percent is 100. So, let us find the lowest 
uh, or the, reduce them to the lowest term. Okay. So, to reduce the lowest term, we will divide it with the GCF or the greatest common factor. So, what do you think is the greatest common factor? So, so this is 5 and 0, the last digit. So, it can be divided by the prime number. Okay. The 5. Okay, 35 divided by 5 is 7. Uh, 100 divided by 5 is 20. So, 720 is the fraction of 35%. Okay, now let us move to 35% to decimals. So, to write uh, decimals to percent, we will... Uh, divide this uh, 35 by 100 or n uh, using the ratio n is to 100 again so where n is equal to the given percent so 35 100 so dividing a whole number by 100 just uh, uh, 35 by 100 is just is like moving to decimal places to the right so that will be 0 and 35 100 okay let us try this problem solving involving changing uh, percent to fractions and decimals or vice versa uh, fractions to percents, decimal to percents. Okay, so number one, four-fifth of the books in the library are fiction books. What percentage of the books are fiction books? So, given is the, given is the four-fifth. So, what was, what was asked? So, the percentage. So, the percentage, uh, Four fifth will be changed into percent. So fraction changing fraction to percent. So there are two methods in uh, writing fraction to percent. So first method is the uh, change by multiplying with a fraction equal to one, which will result with a denominator of one hundred. Or you can also uh, express them in a proportion method. Okay, so but I but I prefer to uh, use the proportion. So equate them into n 100. So cross product 4 times 100 is equal. Uh, 100 times 4 is equal to 400. Then 5 times n is equal to 5n. Next, uh to get n, divide both sides by 5. Okay. So, 5n divided by 5 is equal to n. Then, 400 divided by 5 is equal to 80. So, so the percentage of books that are fiction books is... 80% Okay, number 2 A student receives 20% discount on jeepney fare What fraction of, of the fare is this? Okay, so the given is 20% So what is asked? So the fraction So we will change this uh, percent into fraction so how to change percent to fraction just express the them into the n rate n 100 ratio so where n is the given percent 20 100 so to find the fraction form this is the fraction form but you must uh, express them into lowest term okay what is the lowest term of 2100 so the greatest common factor uh, 
can be divided by both of them. So I just divide them with uh, the greatest common factor, which is 10. 20 divided by 10 is 2. 100 divided by 10 is 10 is 10. Then 210 is not yet a uh, Lewis term, so we will express them into Lewis term. So by dividing it by prime number 2 or the common greatest common factor, uh, a prime number 2. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 so 1 fifth so the fraction uh, uh, form of 20% is 1 fifth